Hey, today I want to show you uh, how I modified the Xbox 360 and the X key. So I put the X key inside. All the cables are inside the Xbox. Only the X key controller are outside, as you can see here. And one USB cable right here. So this cable goes from USB cable go from here all the way inside here connect to the USB of the X key I have the X key R7 by the way so it's uh, with a flex cable so it's uh, the black USB connects on the side on the, not on the bottom because it's a motherboard but on the side with a glue, two sides glue a uh, paper glue with two sides and then to connect to it and then and then it goes <coughs> and then it goes from there another USB cable connects go inside here under the DVD go outside of here and connect to the X key and of course the flex cable that I talked about before go in outside from here all the way inside to the USB so it's like a T, T connection right here under but everything is under you don't see anything it's only one hole on the side here, one hole on the side on the back here <coughs> and you actually don't see it. Now you probably ask how I'm gonna update the controller whenever I want because I glue it into the Xbox so it's no problem I just have a micro USB cable, extra micro USB cable, I take my Xbox to the computer and I plug it to the computer and also uh, of course there is a USB on the side so I can connect the hard drive so if I want to update the firmware of the X key it's no problem you just take a USB and you have and you have an update uh, firmware for the X key but uh, yeah, as you can see it's very nice not a lot of cables all the cables are hidden inside uh, as soon as I be able to have to open the Xbox 360, if I have to open, I will take a video and I can upload a video how it looks from inside, but I guess you understand the point of having the cables inside, and if you know what is R7, so you know what is uh, all the details about it, how it's supposed to be connected, so everything is inside the box. Have a nice time and thanks for watching.